Hey everybody, welcome back. And before we get into the unboxing video for these cool new little trial decks for D-Series, I want to quickly give a little update. We have some new play mats up on inkgaming.com. We have the ever-weighted Dungaree and Eugene play mat. Uh, this one's been a long time coming, but it's finally up. So if you guys are interested in that, you can go ahead and pick it up. It comes in a play mat and also has an extended mouse pad. So if you want to do that for your desk, there's also some new Digimon mats. It's like the generic zone map with like a nice little blue or sunset gradient in the background. And we have the same thing going on for our Vanguard maps. We have like the classic one and the gradient ones as well. So if you guys want to pick up some play mats from us to support the channel, really appreciate it. And that's pretty much it. So we're just going to go ahead and jump into the unboxing. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing video and we're going to be going into the new D-Series uh, trial decks. So we got three new start decks for Will Dress and we got some pretty decent hype for these new decks. They feature some new characters from the Will Dress anime and they come in some really, really nice packaging. So we're going to go ahead and crack open all three. The nations that they represent are going to be uh, Keter Sanctuary, which is the the Raika, we have the Urara, which is for Stoicaea, which kind of has like some Neo Nectar vibe to it. And then we also have one for Dark States for Michiru. And this one kind of has like some Buddy Fight Zodiac vibes going on with it. All three of these look really good. And these are also really great starting points for new players that want to get into the game. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and start unboxing all of them, starting off with TD01 Urara. So we're going to go in order here. Slide that out. So what I really like about the new packaging is that it's actually a deck box that you can reuse for the deck. So once you start, you already got yourself a box to keep your cards in, which I really like. So this kind of goes into some information about the main boss unit, which is Leanorn, and the person that uses it in the anime, Urara, pretty much gives a good summary of like the card count. It comes with an extra pack, so you can uh, update the deck. It comes with uh, a how to play guide, comes with the play mats, pretty much comes with pretty much everything you need to start besides sleeves. You got the whole deck right here, so I'm gonna set that down for a second. And it comes with this little divider in here, so you, can, you guys can keep that if you want. Oh, and everything just fell out. So inside of the divider, we have our fighter's rules. So what is card by Vanguard, how to play, what everything does, how to prepare. It also comes with these little punch outs, which is cool. So it comes with heal markers, critical markers, front trigger markers, does it come with draw markers? Yes, it does. And then I believe this is our play mat. Go ahead and open this up. So it's actually really pretty. Play the game with this alone is nice. You can if you get in a big enough laminator, you can laminate this and use this as your play mat, which is pretty cool. Uh, on the back side, we also have the other side where you can use for zones. So if you want to use it just so you can kind of know what you're doing when you're playing the game, the ride deck, the order zone, your damage zone. Uh, keywords to look out for, act, auto, continuous, soul charge, counter charge, persona ride, things like that. On top of that, every one of these new products comes with this really, really good promo card. It's a Sentinel order. What it does is it does the same thing as a PG. You can play it in the order zone and for that battle, you discard a card from your hand. One of your units cannot be hit. And then on top of that, if your opponent's Vanguard has triple drive, you don't have to pay the cost. So that goes with, for standard, we have the grade fours with triple drive. And this also works really well in premium because, you know, G units have triple drive. So this is a really, really good card. Um, it does say that you can only use one copy of this card in the deck. So the only copy you need is the one. So if you pick up these start decks, you're pretty much good to go on these promos. You don't really need more. That's really helpful as well. And I like that a lot. And then going on into the main deck. So we have our shiny Lanorn. It comes with our extra copies. So we have our four copies of Leonorn right there. And then also they come with like these um, tutorial guide uh, ride deck cards. So it kind of shows you how to go from zero to one to two. So this is very user friendly or very beginner friendly, I should say. So this is our ride deck cards right here with little tutorials. Um, grade three card. When this unit attacks the Vanguard, if your back row is three or more rear guards, gets into 10K. Grade two, when this unit intercepts, if you have a back row, two more grade ones, 10K shield, so special interceptors. Um, this is a vanilla grade two, but it kind of gives you an idea of what intercept means so that you know that grade two is intercept. Uh, grade one, if your Vanguard's grade three or greater, kind of less two draw a card. And then this is our vanilla booster, so it kind of tells you how boost works. You rest the unit and then you can apply the power to the unit in front of it. We got our generic 
Grade 1 PGs where you discard a card to protect a unit. Grade 1, when this card is discarded during right phase, you can call it to rear, so it helps you uh, fill your board and kind of goes with the discard cost for the ride deck. And then these are our new uh, triggers. So this is Vanilla Crit, and it kind of gives you a description of what it does. This is Melodia Palmera. This is really, really cute. We also have our new draw, same thing. We have our Symbol Hamster. Really, really cute card there. Our front trigger we got four copies of as well. Prominent Elf. And we also have four copies of our heel trigger. So there's no over trigger in this, but in the promo pack, which we can go into right now, is where you're gonna find all the extra cards. So each of the start decks also include these promo packs. So right away, we're just seeing that this is just additional cards. So when this boosts a Vanguard, put a grade two or less from your hand to soul and you draw a card, one copy of this grade three, or there actually might be multiples, Oh, there are multiples. So I got a little foil back there. That's cool. When this is placed on the front row, if your back row has three or more units, draw a card. And if your opponent's vanguard's grade three, it gets 10k. There's our over triggers. So they all come with the generic over triggers. Unfortunately, they don't come with the uh, nation specific ones. That would have been really cool just to have in circulation. But you know, they're, they're trial decks. Order card. Play this with soul last one. All your grade ones get 5k. And this is our ride deck. So the, the ride deck cards that were in the main trial deck with just the, the, the printing on how it works. These actually are the ones with the skills. So there we have those. This is the an extra copy of the grade one. Uh, this was an extra copy of the grade three, which can come foiled, and an extra copy of the order. It's nice to know that we can have these extra little promos added into the deck so you can kind of spice it up once you get comfortable with the game. Now we're on to start deck two with Michiru. Go ahead and pop this open. So same thing, we got our uh, trial deck box here, which you can flip open for the context, some information about Dradjeweled and Michiru himself. All right, so we got the deck right here. I'm gonna set that down for a second. And then we'll grab all of this, because last time it all kind of spilled out on me. So put a little cover out of the way, and we got the same contents. So we got our little pop-up thing, our how to play, our play mat, which since the other one had a pretty cool design, let's go ahead and open this one up. And there we go. That's the Michiru playmat. That looks pretty cool. Actually, actually just seeing Dradjeweled in its full art right over here. This is a really cool playmat. Our promo PG and our promo pack. So let's just go ahead and start with opening up the trial deck. So we got our four copies of Dradjeweled in the front right there. Um, I didn't go over Leandernorn skill in the last one, but so just kind of real quick, Leandernorn is about Make having all your back row boost it. And then at the end of the battle, this attacks, you would just restand all your boosters so that your other rear guards can still boost them. So this is kind of focused on making a big, beefy Vanguard, pretty much. Um, Dry Jewels um, gimmick is being able to put your opponent's Vanguard to one power. So what it does is you Soul Blast uh, four different cards at different grades. Your opponent's Vanguard's power is reduced or increased to one. And if they have a grade three, this gets a crit. So that's kind of like the whole focus is putting your opponent's Vanguard to one. Same thing, we got our uh, ride deck tutorial here. In grade three, when it attacks, if you have Vanguard Dread Jewel, Counter Blast one gets 10K. If you're a grade two, that shows how to intercept. We have our grade two, that's when this is discarded for a ride phase, you can uh, put into your soul instead of calling it. So it kind of helps you fill your soul for Dradjeweled. Uh, when it boosts a grade two or greater, you may soul charge one. This is just a really good generic card for dark states, uh, especially because both Bruce and Barrow Magnes and even Greedon, they all require a lot of soul. Um, grade one, if your Vanguard's grade three or greater, count plus two draw. We have our generic booster that teaches you how to boost. We have our PG. We have our new critical trigger, which kind of has like a, a doll aesthetic going on there. We have our new grade, uh, new draw trigger, grade zero draw trigger. Our front trigger and our heel trigger, which is like some like little bunny looking thing. So that was it for the context of the main trial decks. So now we're just gonna go into the promo pack. Starting off, uh, we have the Skilled grade ones. So what it actually does is when it's placed on rear, if you have Vanguard Dry Jeweled, you Soul Blast one, choose a card from your drop and you put it into your soul for plus 2k. Grade two is placed on rear count plus one. Look at the top three cards of your deck from among them. Put a card in your soul, uh, shuffle your deck, and if your soul has four more different cards with different grades, draw a card. And the grade one is when it's placed on rear. Look at the top two cards of your deck. Uh, choose one from among them, put in your soul, and put the rest in your bottom. So it kind of helps you filter your, your soul because you need different grades. 
our over trigger, our grade two from the lineup. Oh, we got the foil of the, the grade one from the right line. That's cool. When this attacks, hits a Vanguard, ends up Vanna Rear, Soul Charge one. And this is wrote upon by Drag Jewel in its name, Soul Charge one. If you had three or more different cards, different grades, you draw a card. The grade one is when this is wrote upon by the grade two Drag Jewel, you call us the rear. When this attacks with boost, gets 5k, and at the end of battle, you put this in your soul and our starter. And then we got the other extra copies that could have come as well as well. All right, so that was it for the Michiru trial deck. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the third one, which is the Youth Burke, the Rika. So right at the bat, this is our deck. I'm gonna put that aside. Same thing. We have our little pop-outs, our how to play, our play mat, our PG, and our promo pack. So I'm gonna put the promo pack and PG down for a sec so we can look at the uh, the mat. That looks that looks pretty cool. Look at the, look at them. Look at look at Youth Burke go being such a, a badass. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up the deck. And so we got our Youth Burke. So Youth Burke's whole thing is Rebel Dress. And this would be wrote upon. It is also regarded as Skyfall Arms. So that's like the uh, the one that comes in the set six. And I believe they all. Um, all the other versions, including Dradjul and the Norm, they all say the same thing. They're all regarded as their versions of themselves from the uh, from the next set for DBT-06. So what this does is it has Revel Dress. So at the end of battle, this attack, you choose a card of Revel Dress in its name from your hand and you write it, and it gets Drive minus two. So you don't get the Drive checks, but you get an extra Vanguard attack. And then if your Grade 3 or Grader is placed this turn, it gets 5k, so it's a rear guard skill as well. So we get four of those. So Ride deck and main deck are ride line cards. And this is the Revel Dress card. So this is the new mechanic. It's when this is placed on van by the Revel Dress ability, this gets 15K. And if you Persona Road this turn, it gets an extra crit. So you can get an extra, uh, extra Vanguard attack. At the end of the battle, or I'm sorry, at the end of your turn, you choose a card with Revel Dress and its ability from your soul and you ride it. So you can go back into the original uh, Youth Burke at the end of the battle, at the end of the turn. Grade two, if you have Vanguard Youth Burke, count plus two for 10K. Our Interceptor, when this intercepts, if you have a Rebel Form in its name, or if you have a card with Rebel Form in its soul, this gets 10K, so that would refer to this one, Rebel Form Zest. So if this is in your soul after you do the skill, this gets 10K when you intercept. Our Generic Booster, our Generic PGs. Um, when this is discard for a ride, you can call to rear. New Crits new draws, new fronts, and new heels. All right, so now we're gonna go into the promo pack. So opening this bad boy up, we got our grade two. Let's see what he actually does. When this is placed, but when your Vanguard is placed by the Rebel Dress Ability Kind of Blast for 10K. So we get three of those. We get the really, really good grade two, which is Kedwalia. The end of the battle that this attacked a vanguard if you have four more units soul blast won't retire this look at top three choose a grade two or greater put it in your hand shuffle your deck if you do not reveal a card you just draw so either way you get a you get a card our over trigger we have our order card which is when you play this with counter blast one if you have vanguard with revel dress search your deck for zest and add it to your hand so it gets you zest immediately we get the foil of the uh the right deck for youth. When this is wrote upon by, you know, Revel Dress, kind of plus one, choose a great tier, greater card from drop, putting it into your hand so you can get your zest right away if you discarded it. When it, uh, when this unit is boosted, Soul Blast one gets 5k. So we have our grade one. Look at the top three, search for a youth perk, add it to your hand, choose, uh, or you can choose a grade two or less unit and call it. So it helps you fill your board. So we got another of the grade two, another Cadwalia and another of the order. So these also have the option of being foiled as well. But we got it for our ride deck, which is pretty cool. So you can kind of collect these as well and foil out your ride deck if you like. So that was it for the unboxings. Um, let me know what you guys think, what decks you're planning on building and how you're feeling about Will Dress as a format. I've heard a lot of really, really, really good things about the Will Dress format. Uh, people saying that it's making standard a lot more fun and they're enjoying it a lot more with these new cards and these new mechanics. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. And I'll be showing you guys an updated version 
of how to update your youth burke deck because i have a lot of kenner sanctuary stuff in general so if you guys want to get an idea of how to update your youth burke trial deck i'll make a separate video on that as well so thank you guys for watching and as always like comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye